Uh, when Paul Rose, the Quebec separatist and former terrorist, died this month, there was the usual two solitudes response. In Quebec, there was considerable praise and respect, including a motion to honor him in the National Assembly. In Anglo-Canada, incomprehension and scorn. Um, I think what we've never fully grasped is the way the radical and at one time violent wing of Quebec's independence movement was equally committed to social justice. They felt the two pieces had to coincide. So even when he was in prison for kidnap and murder, Rose fought for prisoner rights. After his release, he worked in unions, wrote, campaigned in elections, supported last spring's uh, student strike for free higher education, things that resonate socially. So his kind of separatism, minus the violence, still has an appeal especially compared to the Parti Québécois versions with their petty language manias. The independent social justice combo appeals particularly to the young. When Rose spoke uh, at those student protests last year, he was warmly welcomed and felt at home. That kind of thing shouldn't surprise or perplex us, but it always seems to. For the Star.com, I'm Rick Salutin.